Good evening. I'm Niall Jessen, and I'm a member of NAMI Johnson County. NAMI stands for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And with me are two other members. To my far left is Peggy Loveless and a June Judge to my near left. And we're here to talk about Mental Illness Awareness Week. And um, before we talk about that, let's talk about where we've been all day today. We've been at a conference, which was the Choices in Recovery out in Coralville. And maybe the members would like to talk about it, yeah. Peggy. Um, we started out this morning and we had a presenter um, that w came to us from uh, Janssen Pharmaceuticals, who sponsored the, the conference, and they, she did a wonderful job. We really talked about what is available here in this community and um, what was available in this presenter's community, and there was a huge difference between what we have and what she had there. And it was just dramatic to see the differences because for mental illness for mental illness treatment okay. right um, the one thing that did come up that we found I found really very fascinating was the aspect of having treatment dogs and treatment dogs are, can be trained at just like dogs treatment dogs right. for um, people with blindness and, and other disabilities for people with mental illness and so if they find that they're getting anxious or the dogs know what to do, they're trained to help right. them, like with answering the phone. When you're depressed, you won't, don't want to get up to answer the phone. The dog picks the phone up and brings it to you. Well, I know someone so, that has one, yeah. and that they can answer, the dog can answer the phone right. and pick the phone up. Right. Here in this community has right. a therapy dog for their mental illness. Yes, okay. yes, there is one here, and the training, I don't know how common it is yet, but it's something new, right. that, and I think it's a wonderful idea. And it just gives people another attachment, another connection to something. Yeah. Then this afternoon, uh, we had Carrie Nesbitt from the Crisis Center who talked about suicide prevention, which was very interesting, I thought. June, were you? Here? Yes, I came back for that. I uh, did come around noon, and uh, that was a very difficult uh, program for me because I lost a son to suicide. So um, all the things that, that Carrie talked about were um, were uh, prevention ideas or ideas for folks who just suicide is the last thing that you think of and when you're uh, talking about your own family as far mm -hmm. as I was concerned anyway never think it's going to happen to you and so uh, after my son died then I saw all of these signals and signs that Carrie talked about today and I had not a clue at the time so this is a very difficult one for me to sit through but certainly wonderful that people are uh, becoming much more aware. One of the ideas there was that uh, it doesn't uh, make a person commit suicide to say, are you feeling suicidal? Right, right. And uh, mm -hmm. so that's hard for people to say to their loved ones, but right. uh, from the way she described it and the way others too, it's something that uh, certainly doesn't cause any more problem than you might have already. Right. And, and can so, save a life. And can save a life, right. yeah. And a lot of it is related to mental illness. Yes. Yeah, she said. What right. Ninety percent of suicides, of completed suicides, are I mean, have, are with people with mental illness. And the rest are accidents. <laughs> well, I possibly. can't imagine people yeah. uh, taking that way out unless they do have a, a depression that's so painful that they can't see any other way. So, anyway, yep, that was quite a. Right, an emotional a, time for you. Yeah, really right, bad, right. really bad. And then after the um, presentation on suicide, we had a, a film that is going to be released on PBS called Minds on the Edge Facing Mental Illness, and it was marvelous. It was a panel discussion of some, some very, very knowledgeable people, and it was just awesome, very inspiring. Right, and it's NAMI's um, outreach campaign to the community to uh, raise awareness about mental illness, but also to... Uh, possibly bring about change in mental health reform. Yes, so yes. that's the, the big thing. And the yes. people the on the panel the actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the people on the panel actually uh, through the Fred Friendly Symposium idea um, actually uh, acted out uh, what happens when you have a child or an adult who is psychotic is absolutely obviously in need of medical help for a mental illness and what is happening right now today as we speak because you can't get help for those folks. Mm -hmm. And there was Pete Early who was here and he right. wrote the book Crazy and he was a very um, emotional part of this panel because he couldn't get help for his son and his son is in the, the prison system now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's that sad. one particular movie 
I felt showed the whole scene of what's happening in the United States right now. Right, right. And yes, and it was it was just very, very right. inspirational. And we hope that uh, the NAMI uh, nationally has handed at, uh, handed out that DVD to at the national convention, and they want people in all communities to show it so they can understand what is going on and what needs to happen. They so having said that, if there's any groups out there that would like to show this um, uh, film, please let us know. That's yes. correct. You can okay. call NAMI at 337-5400. NAMI Johnson County. We're yes. an affiliate. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Got and, that. Yes. And actually, yes. all the social concerns people, the people that meet on a regular basis for crisis intervention, like the suicide prevention, and the uh, correctional people, the, the people in our community who are so concerned about social needs, the people, uh, you know, the homeless, the people eating out of dumpsters, which we don't see as much around here because we feed them pretty well here. Yeah, <laughs> we have the right. free lunch. But we, we have still have too many individuals that are incarcerated that do have a mental illness. Oh, indeed. I mean, even indeed. in Johnson County, yes. we do. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So Again, if you don't have a support system, right. you end up either in the criminal justice system homeless or dead. And did That's you, your choices. When my sons got sick, they wanted to get help and they went to the hospital to get help and because they didn't have insurance, they were turned away. Mm -hmm. And I thought that hospitals and doctors had Hippocratic oaths to treat people who were sick. Well, evidently not if you have an illness of the brain because they wouldn't treat my sons. And if it weren't for myself and others who right. cared, they would Some be walking system. in the homeless, uh, or with the homeless. Is that the, the state law about being an imminent danger, danger to, to yourself and you, you, know, you won't be admitted? Well, Isn't that, is that why they did the not treat The civil it? libertarians were saying that uh, we are not going to put people in the hospitals against their will because it's against their civil rights. But somehow the medical component was left outside the door because you wouldn't do that to a person with diabetes. Or having a heart attack. Or yeah. having a heart and attack. And these people with a, a psychosis is a brain attack. You got that right. right. So, uh, and that's what they talked about today. Yes. yes. In yes. The movie. That we aren't treating mental illness as a medical illness. Right. It, it's and, a societal, and it is. It's a brain disorder. It's become so. a moral issue. And, and it should not be. Okay. It definitely it is not. It's, We've it's got a to make physical, big changes. medical issue. Right. Yeah. So, we have another event coming up, right. and uh, it's a photo text exhibit. Oh, well, shall I do that? Yes. That's part, part of it, yes. Mental Illness Awareness And Day. it is nothing to hide, mental illness in the family, and it is being shown at the U.S. Bank, which is at the corner of Lynn and Washington Street, mm -hmm. and it is 20 photos of families that are living with mental illness, and they have told their story. Right. And it's right. kind of coming out in showing that, you know, just ordinary people and with an illness. This is very normal. One yes, in five right. families. Right. And that is part of Mental Illness Awareness Week. And also, we will be having our candlelight vigil. Um, right. Yes. Okay. We will have that at the Old Capitol. That is October 4th. That's Sunday at 6.30 p.m. And everyone is invited to attend. And what yes. do we do with it's, that It's now? the public statement that we're in support. Well, we're going to have speakers. And uh, just uh, it's just to remember individuals who pots, who have lost their battle with mental illness, or to recognize and uh, those people who are in recovery with mental illness, and that's have the people themselves there who are in recovery. It, that's yes. right, absolutely. And we talk about more about recovery, and that's mm -hmm. a new kind of yeah, catchphrase when, with with mental illness. When uh, my sons got sick, uh, the people that were their medical uh, people that we finally got a hold of said, oh, no, 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 they never recover, they never recover. Well, there is recovery that means you get to be as well as you would like to be and the right. choices are there, but unless if you get the, the support. If the choices are there. If the, the choices, choices are, are there. there. Exactly. How, <laughs> and that's the medical, I mean, the community, psychiatric community, and people are recognized that you just don't give medication and go home. It's, yeah. it's, it's the holistic approach. Right? Yes. And what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Recovery and rehabilitation. Re and I mean, environment, means, emotional, spiritual. You have spiritual. to have a house. You have to have a that, place to live. That's right. you got to start with a place to live. And that can be a problem. Yes, that's a <laughs> okay. big problem. Okay. okay. And then you have to have something social to support. do. Social support, employment. Um, and all those good things. Yeah. Yes. Social support. I guess I can put this down. I think you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Put that down. All right. All right. Okay. And then there's some other presentations for Mental Illness Awareness Week, too. Um, you want to go through some of those, too? Uh, the one on Monday, I think, is our special event. NAMI uh, was established in 1979, so we are celebrating our 30th anniversary. Yay. 
<laughs> and uh, what we're going, how we're going to celebrate it is we're going to show the 